What's up, Fish Tank TV? This is Bobo Fish Tank, and uh, today I basically want to release um, two Tutorial Tuesdays today, as usual. Um, but there wasn't any Tutorial Tuesdays last Tuesday. Um, but what I'm going to be talking about in this Tutorial Tuesday about planet tanks is does liquid carbon work? If you don't know what liquid carbon is, something like this is liquid carbon. It is basically um, carbon that is um, dissolved in liquids, for example water, um, and uh, then when um, the carbon actually reacts with the oxygen in the water, it will create um, carbon dioxide, and uh, carbon dioxide is used for plant growth, um, and uh, when you uh, get water from your, oh my well loach, but if you get water from your, uh, well you do get water from your Either your sink or or um, <clears throat> the uh, you know the um, bath and stuff like that, and uh, basically there's no carbon dioxide in that because it is all um, used up by where it was cooked and where it was you know delivered to your home. So um, the carbon dioxide is nearly gone, so the plants will be fighting to get that lasting carbon dioxide that is in the water. Um, and uh, that it can be very hard for the plants because there may be plants that are going to decay. Um, a good example of, is cryptocorines. Um, this is cryptocorines. There's some. I just have a bunch of cryptocorines. I have cryptocorin wendai, uh, not wendai, but willisi. There, 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 there. I have a huge jungle right here. Also have some here along the back, all the way along the back here. Some pretty big leaves also coming from this one and also one there and there. So there's a lot of small growth and there's the java fern. There's a lot of small growth coming out everywhere. Um, and um, basically, um, they will. Uh, what people, people typically say is that they will decay when you put them directly into the aquarium. Oh my well, I was just chilling right there. Don't focus on him. Uh, but then uh, they say they basically just decay when they put them in and then they grow back back after after a week or so. Um, you can prevent this by using carbon dioxide. You can either use a pres pressurized CO2 system. It's the best pressurized CO2 system for work very well. But if you don't have enough money to buy that, go buy um, liquid carbon. You don't necessarily need it, but it will do a boost on your plants, plant growth. Um, less, less LGs on your plants as well because the plants are going to grow so crazy much. Uh, there's also going to be a lot more, you know, reddish colors on reddish plants. A good example is my Hygrophila polysperma. You see here in the middle where it got a lot of light it got, uh, and the uh, fertilization, you know, potassium, iron, magnesium, cobalt, all that good stuff right here. You can see down here where there's not a lot of light where I'm planning to put jungle wall. Um, it's basically all green, and that is because there's not not a lot uh, a lot of light right here. Jungle wall is not high light require required, so um you know I can just put some jungle wall there and some hornwort right here. Although there's some good stems right there, but I will maybe give those away. And um, basically they will grow crazy, crazy, crazy much. Um, it works very well, um, but you have to. Be sure not to overdose it because um, if you overdose, you will basically um, <clears throat> end up with killing your fish as well as get a lot of algae. So you kind of have to make a balance on your plants, um, and uh, you of course have to dose it every day, um, about two or four milliliters every day. Come uh, that kind of depends on how uh, big of a water uh, or well how much liters and gallons you have. So you know it's it's uh, it works very well. So go buy it if you want to. It works very well. It's really nice, um, and uh, it has indeed put a boost on my um, on my plants. So yeah, see you guys in another video.